Welcome to Golf Weekly, Low Country Golf fans. I am your host, Daniel Court, joined as always by Chris Hendricks to my far left, Chris Tremblay to my immediate left. Always smiling, isn't he? Always yeah. smiling. Well, Got a lot to smile about. We're here smiling on the head. Why wouldn't you smile? <laughs> the head is buffed and ready <laughs> to roll. Fresh coat of turtle wax today. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Well, big, big week in golf this week. Uh, you were down at the PGA show uh, pretty much all week, weren't you? PGA show yeah. down in Orlando? Yeah. We're going to talk about that next segment. Next segment. You had, a, you had a, lot, a lot of interesting stories. Oh, yeah. Met some interesting people. Yep. Um, and uh, you, do any, what, first of all, what happened with your... Anything the with students your did not play students? this past weekend. They're all getting geared up for our next tournament, which okay. is in two weeks up at Kiowa Island. So that's one wow. where everybody plays. So they're getting That'll geared up fun. for that. And yeah, it should be a good time. So we're looking forward to that and working them hard, making sure um, they're ready. We'll talk about the store, your, your store yeah. stuff when we come back. Um, Way, Tiger Woods. All is well in the world of golf eighth, again. That's yeah, right. eighth win in his career at Torrey Pines. And I actually heard on the uh, radio this morning, if you took uh, his wins at Torrey, Bay Hill, uh, the Memorial, and the Masters and combined them, fire, oh, fire, it was Firestone, Firestone actually, combined them would be more wins than Johnny Miller had in his career. <laughs> you know, it's pretty astounding when you start breaking, or breaking it down. 75 wins, 14 majors. Uh, the guy's not 40 yet, not even close to 40. What is he, 37? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 37 he, there's still a lot of room there, and it, you know, it, it appears as though hopefully he'll have another great year because that's always good for golf. But every time he usually wins at Torrey Pines, something good happens. Following it, yeah. So yeah, uh, and I heard him say in an interview, uh, you you now seem to have the other players chirping again, and and Tiger, you know, he answers those questions as you would expect he would. Um, but I think a, a lot of the media, at least, felt like he had lost that edge, which was intimidation. Um, I don't know about that. He still, you know, the one thing when, when I hear all these detractors say that he's not going to ever reach the 18, he doesn't have a chance, the one thing I always said was, well, first of all, he's still pretty young uh, by golf standards. Sure. Right? Secondly, he's got one thing that no other player has. He's Tiger Woods. That's right. You know, you got to feel like, and, and, and what it looked like, and we talked about this before we came on, guys, it looks like he didn't drive the ball that well, but he was scrambling. He was spurty with the driver. He had, for a couple rounds, he was pretty solid. And then, um, really, yesterday when they finished the tournament up, he tended to have some that got a little wayward, but... That's a long delay. You know, the parts too. of his game yeah, that really yeah. have led him to his major championships, which have been the wedge and the putter, they were spot on. So if you got to see any of them this past weekend, you saw that. And it you know, was evident when he his lead, I believe, at one point got up to seven or eight shots. He ended right. up winning by four. He finished at minus 14 in second place. Last year's FedEx Cup winner, Brant Snedeker. And Josh Teeter, who, you know, for somebody like Josh Teeter, that's a nice high finish early in the year to make, you know, things potentially much easier exactly. for the rest of the year to reassure his card no for question. next year. So things have gotten sweeter for Teeter. <laughs> so things have gotten sweeter for the Tater. You're absolutely <laughs> right. Um, Jimmy Walker and Nick Watney tied for fourth. And then we also had some other good top tens. Ricky Fowler, who just barely made the cut. Mm -hmm. He played his way up to finishing tied for sixth, and another top ten finish for Charles Howell the third and Jason Day. Nice to see him back playing a little bit better. He yeah. had a top ten also. What I like is the Nick Watney because uh, he just left uh, Titleist and went all Nike. Yep. So that's a good showing for one of their guys. Yeah. They just made that full, you know, full equipment change, Very everything. True. So. And everybody wants to question Rory's move because he missed the cut at his first event. So did Tiger. Nike. Then look what I Tiger did. Comes to the second event and wins it. Right. I think these guys will prove really quick that that has nothing to do with it. Well, I, do. you know, I, I, I'd like to think that it's gotten to the point where, you know, the equipment change shouldn't be that big of a deal. Everybody knows their specs. You know, most of the companies, if you go from one company to the other, most of the companies are going to make an iron head for you that probably resembles either exactly what you liked from the other company or tweak it just a little bit. Right. And as far as the shafts and lofts on drivers go, they should be able to get that pretty close to or the pull their old ones out and stick them in there. I mean, there's yeah. five different things that they can do. And so I think sure it's more it's indicative of Nick Watney just playing good golf as opposed to... Right. The equipment change. Nick Watney is one of those guys that's just he's solid. Gonna gonna break through in a major anytime. He's a world class player. Um, other, we've got about a minute and a half. Other news and golf. Well, we have on the word. European tour, Chris Wood, a tall Englishman who won his first tournament this past weekend at the Qatar Masters. He eagled the 18th hole, a par five, hitting driver six iron to about 12 feet. He's gonna um, be a fun way to win a tournament. I guess. 
make I, I can't ever say I've eagled the last hole to win a turn. I think I may have done it once with a junior tournament, but I, I that wow. was so long ago I can't exactly remember the specs on it. But Gee, um, where? yeah, he had an eagle on the last hole to beat Sergio and South African George Coetzee by one. Sergio's and playing good again. Sergio is playing good well boy. again. I know. And one other bit of news we should bring up is the USGA just announced that right. the 2020 U.S. Open will be back in the New York metropolitan area. It'll be at Winged Foot. Wow, what a golf course. Again. Was that the one the last time they had with that Phil puked? Phil, <laughs> um, my friend, yeah. so puked, puked all over himself and called himself Phil an idiot. Decided, yep. Phil got a little over aggressive on 18 and it yeah. didn't pan out for him. So, yeah. yeah. So in 2020, Wingfoot will again have the U.S. Open. Fun. Well, going back, like we said with Tiger, I'm going to go ahead and predict now. Um, I think he's going to take the Masters and the British. Wow. And probably like three more. I'm thinking two majors and three regular seasons. Didn't we wins. just have the who's going to do what show a couple yeah, weeks ago? Right. I don't you're, know. You're changing yeah, already. Changing. changing up on us already. Right. i got to change up a little bit. <laughs> he just rides where the wind takes him. I know. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe when you think about it. It's, it's been nearly 10 years since Tiger won at Augusta. I think it's um, time this year. Yeah, I mean. It's hard to believe. It really is. I think he does got a few more green jackets. It I, does. That course plays well. I mean, it sets up for him. Well, it's it once really again does. one of the reasons why it's about the wedge and the putter. Granted, you know, you have to drive it decent, but ultimately at Augusta, it comes down to positioning your approach shot and leaving yourself putts that are makeable as opposed to just trying to ginz them down there right. and two putts. So um, and you know, he if he said continues with the wedge and the putter, he'll, he'll be a force in just about everything he plays in this he year. And, he and Sean Foley said that finally the process is takes time. And finally the process is starting to feel natural to him. Um, Looks pretty, pretty good this weekend. <laughs> pr pretty scary if you're, yeah. if, if you're the rest of the field. Agreed. All the time we got here, guys, uh, when we come back, we're going to be with Mr. Hendricks talking PGA Tour show at uh, in, in Orange, Orange, County. Orange County Convention Center in Orlando. Uh, interesting stuff. Stay with us.